So this is a very high yield question for USMLE. Uh, this is one of the phacomatoses, okay? You're like, what the fuck does that mean? P-H-A-K-O, matoses, refers to neurocutaneous disorders, NF1, NF2, tuberous sclerosis, von Hippel-Lindau, Sturge Weber, or Sturge Weber, okay? Really high yield for USMLE. This is tuberous sclerosis. Now, we can do a very, very lengthy discussion on all this stuff. I'm going to try to be pretty concise and high yield here. The writhing movements in the kid's sleep, seizures, uh, the nodule under the fingernail, that's a subungual fibroma. The head CT is showing periventricular nodules. This is enough information to diagnose tuberous sclerosis on USMLE. Answer here, cardiac rhabdomyoma, okay? So not just the periventricular nodules, there can be mental retardation by first grade. Adenoma sebaceum, which are an angiofibromas, and a butterfly distribution on the face and the nasal bridge, nasolabial folds. Um, cardiac rhabdomyoma, sub subungual fibroma, nail bed tumors, and renal angiomyolipoma. So biopsy will show uh, vascular, muscular, and uh, adipocytic um, findings. Okay, So that's tuberous sclerosis, autosomal dominant, chromosomes 9 and 15, the homerton, tuberin proteins. Now, and just really emphasizing that seizure is most common presentation. The kid not be, need not be two years old. I've also seen this presenting uh, in teenagers, okay, and uh, young adults. So don't pigeonhole it because of the age. Uh, but just bear in mind, most kids will be young and presenting with seizure. Choice A, wrong answer. Bilateral acoustic schwannoma is NF2, neuro neurofibromatosis type 2. Yes, that's the highest yield point surrounding that. Autosomal dominant. Uh, chromosome 22. You can also get uh, congenital cataracts and uh, meningioma that can show up as well in NF2. But nevertheless, the bilateral acoustic schwannoma, uh, that's classic for NF2. Uh, choice B, bilateral renal cell carcinoma, that refers to von Hippel Lindau, BHL, okay, autosomal dominant chromosome 3. And that's going to be uh, not just the bilateral renal cell carcinoma, but also cerebellar and retinal hemangioblastomas. It's thought to be due to constitutive activation of a hypoxia inducible factor, which leads to the vascular growth, okay, in the cerebellum and retina. Uh, cardiac rhabdomyoma, as we said, is tuberous sclerosis. That's our answer, choice C. Choice D, iris hamartoma, refers to leash nodules. That's NF1, neurofibromatosis type 1, autosomal dominant chromosome 17. Okay, so that's going to classically be our uh, axillary slash auxiliary and groin freckling, neurofibromas, literally just like lumps on the skin, cafe au lait spots, will be, which will be described as hyperpigmented macules. And we can also get pheochromocytoma, weird brain cancers such as oligodendroglioma, ependymoma. Just reminded me when I said hyperpigmented macules for uh, the cafe au lait spots seen in neurofibromatosis type 1 that I didn't mention for tuberous sclerosis. Be aware of uh, shea green patches, which are hyperpigmented velvety lesions on the skin, as well as um, ash leaf spots, which are hypopigmented macules, okay? Hypopigmented ma macules, ash leaf spots, hyperpigmented velvety lesions, shea green patches. Those two are tuberous sclerosis. Don't fuck that up with the hyperpigmented macules, which are the cafe au spots and NF1. Um, nevis flammis, choice E, that refers to the Port Weinstein birthmark seen in Sturge Weber, Sturge Bieber. Okay, uh, this is actually de novo. It's a it's a somatic mosaicism disorder. Okay, so uh, almost always de novo in terms of what I could find in the literature. So not just the Port Weinstein birthmark. That can it can also present as uh, violaceous papules in a temporal distribution, and this can lead to leptomeningeal angioma. Okay, so uh, a vascular lesion, not just on the face, but it can extend to the meninges, classically presenting with seizures and also glaucoma. Okay, so these are all phacomatoses, P-H-A-K-O, matoses, neurocutaneous disorders. It's always a good one. Uh, you just say the word very casually and uh, students are like, wait, what the fuck does that mean? Uh, but as I said, just uh, NF1, NF2, TSC, VHL, Sturge Weber, Sturge Weaver, these are all uh, the phacomatoses, high yield presentations for step one.